Shama and Low Beach is a community of about 7,000 populace, and the livelihood here is basically fishing. Today, because of sea erosion, residents are losing their livelihood, which is fishing, and their houses. This is the subject of discussion on News Connect. It happened so for so long, but the severe one is what uh, last year, 7 uh, July, and some people are just homeless, as I'm speaking now. And more than the 140 houses was gone to the sea. Well, uh, the sea started eating up uh, the shore uh, so many years back, gradually, but uh, 2017 has been very, very, very severe. And that has really displaced many people within this community. And, and, and you, I mean, uh, when did you also start seeing some of this uh, concern? My first experience was in 1996. That was when the sea erosion has to force us to move from the estuary to uh, a place closer to our new site where we are residing now. This sea erosion has rendered a lot of people homeless. Our fishermen cannot even go to the sea because it is very difficult for them to access the sea to even bring their nets offshore. At the moment now, in fact, they find it very difficult to bring the canoe at the land because of the sea erosion. And uh, when they cast the net to, here is a drag net, so you have to stand at the uh, land before you pull it. And now there is no land whereby when they cast the net, they can stand on it and then pull it. Assemblyman, um, you two, what, have you, what have you observed in terms of the impact of this sea erosion? Yeah, well, uh, it has really affected the livelihood of the people in this community. As Dana said earlier on, uh, you know here the type of fishing we do is quite different from the one we see somewhere else. Because we cast the net, we draw it ashore. And then as you see this area, there is no way we can cast the net and draw it ashore. So it has really, really, really affected the livelihood of the people, the people in the community, and the life is becoming unbearable for them. What, what steps have you taken uh, to, to, to get authorities to address this issue of sea erosion here? Uh, well, uh, uh, we have informed all the authorities that involved, and uh, almost every, all of them have visited here, have seen what is really happening. Uh, initially, uh, people did not want to resettle, but now the whole community is crying for resettlement. So at the moment, there is a resettlement site in the process whereby the entire community will move to the new settlement area. We will definitely start with those who houses have been washed away first before the others. Do you want to be resettled or you want oh, yes, of the, the coastline to be fixed? I mean, in terms of a sea defense? No, I want a resettlement. Because as it is starting, it will make sure it reaches where it wanted to go. That is the sea. It's a natural thing. No one can force it to go back, unless God. Uh, do you want a resettlement or you want a sea defense? Actually, the two options. Simple because uh, this is uh, our industrial area. And, uh, In terms of fishing, mean fishing? Yes, and it's our livelihood. Actually, the product that come out from here to the whole Ghana is very huge. We contribute the shito for the whole country secondary schools. And therefore, the place need to be protected as a sea defense, yet we need to be reset. Mama, uh, did you, do you agree to the sea defense or a resettlement? Yes, you can live here without work. And the fishermen to this, their main work they are doing. So without sea defense, we can live here. So we are agreed to live here, but the fishermen, they have to protect the area so that they can do the fishing work again. Well, uh, the sea defense is most appropriate. But uh, when it comes to cost of sea defense and then the resettlement, uh, I would say it depends on the government. If the government comes to this and say, look, uh, we want to do a sea defense, I think the community will be more happier than resettlement. Now, now if the resettlement comes on, 
if the resettlement comes on, do you think your people have money to build new houses? In fact, uh, I'm appealing to the government to come to our aid because uh, the work we have been doing here, it collapsed. So if the government uh, didn't come to us, in fact, uh, the building we can put up. So you need some assistance from the government so that uh, you can go there very smoothly. What kind of assistance? To give us uh, materials for the building, such as uh, cement, iron rod, and then gravel. What support would you also need if today you are being resettled to a new site? Uh, we want the government to come to our aid by building us affordable houses. So that you, you purchase and then stay yeah, in it? You purchase and be paying bit by bit. And you too, um, what sort of support would you want government to uh, give you? Actually, the move as my sister said. But then, I would like to come in this way, talking about the uh, the, the, the defense. Uh, I know there is a program uh, of coastal protection. It is in the system that they should protect the, the Ghana coast for, for to check the erosion. If we can also be fixed into that protection for us to be doing the work. I'm seriously at that point because it's our livelihood. We will be researching and we need the government to come in, yet the place should not be washed away totally because it's our livelihood. How soon do you want this problem to be fixed, this sea erosion, and if you are going to be relocated, how soon do you want this to be done? Very, very soon, because uh, this August, the sea will rise again and it will definitely take others in addition to the old people. And therefore, uh, the, the government should rise up and quickly come into our aid. Yeah. And you, how soon do you want this whole problem to be solved? By the close of next year. You want to be out of here? Yeah. Nana, uh, how soon do you want your people to be relocated or the sea defense to come? In fact, uh, at the moment now, to, in fact, we are ready to go there. But there's no support. But right now, when we get support from the government, today too we can move. So we are ready to move. Assembly. Yeah, I mean, uh, how soon is now? Because uh, the houses keep on eating by the sea day by day. If you see around, if I'm not mistaken, even last week, some uh, houses went to the sea. And then who knows, maybe tomorrow this house standing here might also go. So soon is now. I mean, with all the calculations we've done, is there a targeted I mean, the schedule that we're working with? Um, according to our last plan, uh, by this time, they should have been on the land. Uh, they should have moved by now. Uh, we should be looking at uh, somewhere uh, by next year, by which time at least all those affected uh, could be on that land. Calls for an immediate construction of a sea defense for people of Anlo Beach and a possible relocation has become so much crucial since residents have currently resorted to these broken walls as their defense. This has been News Connect on City TV. And I am Akwesi Ejie Enim.